Hi, my name is Jen Rose. Welcome to Richland College. Today I'm going to show you how to use our North Star slab roller. Okay, so now before we can get started with the slab, making a slab of clay, we're going to prepare our clay. And so the clay needs to be a little bit thinner than this so that we can put it through the slab roller with um, very little stress on the machine. So I'm going to stretch out the clay, and the easiest way to do that, especially for beginners, is to use a rolling pin. So I put my rolling pin in the middle, and then I'm going to roll to the sides. You don't have to be um, incredibly precise about this, but you do want to get your clay out to about an inch and a half. So one thing to remember, if you have a pattern you're working with, is that the slab roller will only stretch the clay in one direction. So if I put the slab in long ways, that clay is only going to get longer as it's stretched. So you want to make sure that your pattern will fit into the width of the clay, and then it will stretch from here. So let's move to the slab roller, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so when we're ro rolling out a slab, the first thing you have to remember is you have to make a clay sandwich. And so what that means is you have two pieces of canvas that you're using at all times. So it's canvas, clay, make sure there are no wrinkles, and canvas on top. This machine has a metal roller right here that's textured, and if clay touches that, it immediately sticks, and it's really difficult to clean that clay out. So in kindness to your studio helpers and your fellow classmates, please make sure that you keep this clean at all times. So I'm going to just slide the canvas in between those two wheels right here. And this lever allows me to raise and lower the clay, or the, the drum. So if you look on the side over here, there is a uh, bar that will tell you um, a measurement bar. So you can set it to a half inch or a quarter of an inch. But you have to realize that that includes the width of the canvas as well. So if you want a true half inch, you might have to go up to uh, one and five eighths. All right. So once you get the, um, the drum set to where you want it to be, come over here to the wheel and you're going to turn the wheel and it's going to feed the clay through. Now if you get to the point at the end of your canvas right here when there's a little tail of clay that's coming out, you've got to stop. Okay, so back the clay up. And you can just tear that off and continue rolling. If you were to keep rolling, the clay would come out and stick to this drum, and you'd have to clean that off. So now you can see we have a nice flat and thin piece of clay to work with. And now it's time to transfer the clay to your canvas mat that you're working on. So if the clay that you've rolled out is wet and soft and it's also pretty thin, it's difficult to pick it up from the canvas without tearing sometimes. So we're going to do this trick and put your uh, canvas mat down over the clay, sandwich the two between your hands, and lay it back down. And then you can peel the canvas off easily. So if you follow this procedure, you should end up with a pretty successful slab, but don't be afraid to ask questions if you get stuck. Thanks.